Right. This uh, training is for uh, introduction to the Instron, which is a mechanical testing device. Uh, the first thing you'll have to do is log in. So it's going to be uh, username Instron and password Instron. Uh, so all capital letters for both. <laughs> I-N-S-T-R-O-N. Okay, then you'll have this screen and you'll see uh, start a test or continue an existing test, uh, make a new test method, and then don't worry about admin stuff. You have a live display of uh, displacement uh, controlled by this up and down position. The force, which is a force on this load cell right here. Uh, on the front of the load cell, you see the capacity. This is 500 Newton load cell. Um, and the time, and then there's this is the touch screen, and then there are controls to move the head of the instrument up and down, so you can see it going up, going down. To tweak fine position, you can roll this. It goes by very small frac fractions of a millimeter here. Um, and that's all I would pretty much use on this. Then to install the grips, you have the choice of uh, tensile testing with two of these grips. These are pneumatic grips. Uh, which you can open and close with the switch. We have compression platens, which are, uh, I'll just show you how to put those on. So basically it goes through this hole here. You have these clevis pins you put through the hole. And then try to get it in the middle. And then you will tighten the nut up to the, the top on this side, you'll tighten it to the bottom. You also have these little pins, which you can toss in there and tighten it a little bit more. You have uh, pneumatic air lines labeled top and bottom, and you put the top grip on so that it's facing this way, and just push this on. You'll feel it click. It takes a little bit of force. Um, and to close it or open it, just flip the switch. And I pre-pressurized the line here with the air compressor underneath the table. Um, to put on the compression platen on the, on the bottom, normally you would have both of the same. I'm just demoing both, but um, you could use like one of the larger pins. It's a little easier to reach to put it through the bottom. And there's a little nut on there, and you can tighten it against the bottom. So that'll sort of fix them in place. There are other options for, for grips here. This is a serrated grip, which is kind of rough and would really like grab onto your material very hard. If you're testing things like uh, a polymer or stuff, you don't want to like have it like a crunch, like uh, press on it really hard. There are rubber-based grips, um, and they just slide in here like that, and you'll feel them lock in place. Uh, for safety, make sure that you never put your fingers in here and have the have them close on you because it'll crush your finger with quite a bit of psi. So. You definitely don't want that to happen. Um, also to note, there is a foot pedal down here which can also close those grips. So don't just you know have your foot hanging out by the close button while your fingers are, are close to that, just uh, for consideration. Um, so yeah, that's the basic uh, setup. Um, there's also a USB port in the back to save data at the end of the test.